I get asked regularly, what are the most important aspects uh, related to bee management? If, 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 if a new beekeeper is starting off, what's the most important thing that they can know? Heck, for that matter, if it's a commercial beekeeper, what's the most important thing he or she need to know, uh, needs to know about keeping bees? Well, I, I think we have a lot of resources now and a lot of data that have suggested a few basic things. Surveyed beekeepers across the U.S. have reported four kind of major stressors that their bee colonies face. Um, and in no particular order, one of them, one of them is bad weather, so climate-related issues, you know, um, drought, too much rain, too much wind, etc. Another's varroa, another's nutrition, and another's queen quality. Now we can do very little to control weather, right? We're all at the mercy of where we keep our bees. So if we excise out weather, that leaves us three things that all beekeepers are going to have to learn to manage appropriately. Queen quality, varroa populations, and nutrition. So in my opinion, the most critical management aspects of taking care of bee colonies is learning how to address varroa populations adequately, making sure that you have queen, a queen in your colony that is robust, um, long-lived, uh, quality offspring, et cetera, and making sure to recognize when your colony has nutritional issues and know how to address it. In fact, I'm such a firm believer that those are the most important management aspects related to bees and beekeeping. When at the University of Florida, we do uh, a lot of beekeeper training, queen quality, so spotting queen issues and, and addressing them, knowing when varroa populations are high and addressing them, and being able to spot nutritional issues and addressing them. All three of those things feature prominently in the training that my team and I offer at UF because I'm such a firm believer that they're important things for beekeepers to know. In my opinion, if you can do those things, if you can spot when those three things are troubling in a colony and know how to remedy it, or better yet, know how to head it off at the pass, you address these things before they're a problem, beekeeping is going to be enjoyable for you and your colonies will be productive. Of course, there are other stressors, right? There's other viruses and nosema and beetles and uh, drought. Perhaps there's uh, pesticide exposure. Maybe there's management related issues. Yes, 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 yes. All of those things can cause problems as well. But in my opinion, if we can take care of what I call the big three, Varroa Queens Nutrition, most of the rest of beekeeping will, will be a lot easier at the end of the day.